this dude, this Kiwi dude, John, John <laughs> Casford. Yeah. John Owen Casford, actually. So he decided he had a girlfriend <laughs> and he took her to Wellington Zoo. Yeah. And whilst they were there, they were near a monkey enclosure. Yeah. And he said it was like something out of a movie. The little monkey came up and stuck its little paw up on the window against her hand. Aww. So like that. Yeah. And she said, oh, my God, I want one of those. And I, and then he thought, F, that's what I'm going to get her. Right? A monkey. So, so next thing, two in the morning, he broke into Wellington Zoo. What the? He climbed in and went and got it. So he said he was too scared to stick his arm like in the like into where I guess it was sleeping or whatever and reach round. So he lit a lighter and he goes, I seen his little eyes looking and grabbed it and shoved it in my bag and left. Right. And then he's like, Oh, okay, there's a big fence, right? I'll climb it, I'll climb it. And then he realized at the top of the fence was electric fence. Like <laughs> electric. He's like, Ah, oh, okay. I will I will basically I think he said he'll just like Try and push off and jump over it, right? Well, can I can I stop right Wait. there? He got in. Yeah, he that's broke what I'm, into like, the zoo. How, why didn't he? How go did he realise this fence on the way out, not on the way in? Don't know. So there's something wrong with this guy already. He was high. <laughs> yeah. So that's a legit. That was he was actually high. That so was high. he God he God goes, all right. I will. I'll, I'll I'll just push off and I'll jump over. Yeah. He made it to the top of the fence, climbed up. He fell more than eight meters onto concrete, blew his teeth out, broke a leg, got up, continued. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he went to the hospital. He put his leg in a um, cast. My only concern is at this stage, is the monkey all right? So yeah. <laughs> we'll get to that. So legs in a cast, he fixed up his teeth, I guess, maybe at the hospital. And then next day he's like, oh, catch up with the old missus for a date because it was her birthday. Then he sees the cops and he starts running, but he's got a broken leg. So they caught up with him. And by walking slowly, he was sentenced and he was sentenced. He had also unrelated incidences of violence and unprovoked, like, yeah, assault on you know, a man at his car waiting at a traffic so light. So this guy is—he breaks the law a lot, but mm. he's a romantic at the same time. Yeah, he—he yeah, he really? assaulted a Wellington City Council community safety officer. Anyway, he yeah. went to jail on his girlfriend's birthday, and I think he got three years or something. I think he got three years. Yeah. Anyway, I, I hope you mean on his ex-girlfriend's birthday. Well, so then. Uh, after going to jail, they they didn't stay together. But so this comedian who was interviewing him after Guy Williams is the comedian's yeah. name. Uh, he's like, I'm gonna help you win your girl back. So they reenacted the scene in Ten Things I Hate About You, mm -hmm. and they're singing "Can't Take My Eyes Off, off of You" um, to a band in a cricket stadium. <laughs> Whilst his ex is sitting in the bleachers, and then they were like hugging, and I, uh, maybe I think they might have got back together. <laughs> I don't know. But the monkeys, the poor monkeys, the judge said, I don't know what happened in the squirrel monkey enclosure. The squirrel monkeys know, but I don't know. You, you say you couldn't find them, and I don't speak squirrel, but. All I know is by daybreak, all the monkeys were distressed. Two of them were injured. You had a broken leg, two fractured teeth, a sprained ankle and bruised on your back. But like one of the monkeys had a hematoma on its elbow. What's a hematoma? Like a blood. When the bone pokes a out? Bump. It's like a blood, oh, blood, like a big bump with blood, filled with blood. Yeah. Um, they were like distressed. Others had scratches. I think he stole more than one. I don't know. Or he injured more what than one. Maybe he, stole, he stole? maybe he stole one and like went over the fence, but he... Did something to others. I don't know. What was the one in the bag? Did they find the one in the bag? I don't know. I, I still don't understand. <laughs> he got into the jail, uh, into the zoo, and then he decided to climb the wall that he didn't obviously climb. <laughs> On the Do way. you want to see him? <laughs> I'll, I'll, we'll share him. We'll share. We'll share him so you get an idea. I don't know. Uh, 
I've got a song uh, for you. Yeah, yeah. What? I was going to treat my girl. <laughs> then I got high. <laughs> hey, hey, I was hey, going to hey, get a square or monkey. Then I got high. Hey, I tried hey, to hey. jump the wall. <laughs> and I know why. Let's listen to it from his thingy. And to the point where he's breaking into Wellington Zoo to steal a monkey. Love. So it began when you were on a date with your girlfriend at the zoo. Yeah, and this little monkey come up and stuck its little paw up on the window against their hand, like something out of a movie. She said, oh my God, I want one of those. And I thought, fuck, that's what I'm going to get her. I'm going to go get her that monkey. See? Next thing, climbed in there and went and got it. Two in the morning. Can't be easy to catch a monkey. I was too scared to stick my arm in there and just reach around, you know. So I like lit the lighter, flick, 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 and I just seen these little eyes look at him and grabbed it. <laughs> Do you... <laughs> Do you know what I'm thinking the whole time while watching this? Yeah. This guy is the Australian Ali G. Like, yes! That's exactly what this looks like. <laughs> is his partner's name Julie? <laughs> oh, me Julie. <laughs> For my Julie. All this, right, let's continue. This, let's continue. It looks like a piss take. So I fall, <laughs> and then I miss my landing area, and then I fell like eight, nine meters. Fuck. Into a big concrete running track. Okay. Blew all my teeth out, broke my leg. So when you said you blew all your teeth out, So that was the plan. Yeah, Did you gone. see the, um, yeah. the interview? So you felt like. He <laughs> <laughs> He's probably thinking, mate, how did you get in? <laughs> how did you get in? Ground shock ever. So you go like an eight meter drop. <laughs> yeah. And you get the oh, meanest man. ground shock ever. Was it still my teeth? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm, so I'm so upset funny. that they didn't ask him that question. Oh. Well, that was only a short clip. It's probably on YouTube. Go find it if you want. His name was John Owen Casford. He doesn't look like a guy that um, is full of malice. He seems a guy that's harmless and he just, he was high. He seems like a, but he's he had like other a guy assault, who's full of stupidity. But he's had other assault and violent things. I, I feel like, he, I f look, I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. He seems very charming to me. He's charmed me. Would you date? Would you go? Would you go out with him? Uh, I don't know. I'd hang out with him until he did me wrong. Which would be in the first five minutes. <laughs> then I'd leave you. Your monkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a good story. Oh, I like that story. Mm, that was a yeah, good story. It was good.